Ready for this? I don't think I'm ready for this. I can tell you right now we're probably not going to finish this one. Um, but I did want to give this a try. At some point. I figure, why not give it a try tonight? And if it goes kind of well, the little bits that we're able to do with it. If it goes kind of well, we might, mm, like, dedicate a night to it or something. So, here we are. Let's look, you look at this bog standard rando, right? Bog standard. Normal, open, randomized swords, defeat Ganon. Got the animizer turned on as well. Excuse me, the enemy randomizer is on, too. So, uh, well, let's, let's, let's go for it, huh? Let's go for it. Three, two, one. Uh, go, 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 go. All right, you know, pretty, pretty standard, right? Uh, 20, big old 20. It's taking our life savings with us. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay, you know, nothing, nothing too, too wild. Nothing too wild, huh? I also changed the sprite that we're playing as. This is Phoenix Sprite. This is fucking adorable. Um, can we kill something to get the bomb, or tree pulled here? Okay, oh, let me grab that. Grab the fiber. Okay, let's see what's on the tree pull. What's on the tree pull? Oh, fucking bombs, it's great. All right, good, 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 good. Fantastic. Just a whole bunch of bombs. Ooh, we got some red tektites in here. That's not good. It's kind of dangerous, actually. Uncle, what you got for us? Another big 20. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Nothing, nothing too bad yet. Nothing too bad. This guy needs to get the fuck out of the way, though. Please. Thank you. All right. All right. Piece of candy. All right. So nothing, nothing real bad. Nothing real bad just yet. Everything's kind of just, you know, nice and chill. A nice chill start. Nice chill start. What's the church got? That's compass! Well, hey, look at that! We found the compass from Misery Mire! Well, that's curious. Shouldn't that be in Misery Mire? <laughs> it really should. What's it doing in the church? Oh, how silly. <laughs> how silly. I actually haven't played any of the Phoenix Wright games myself, but I have watched quite a few of them. I've watched a few playthroughs of it, and it seems interesting and cool. But I don't think I would sit down and play it myself. Well, shit. Okay, so we found the compass from Meyer. That's a bit strange, isn't it? That should not have left Meyer. It should not have left Meyer. Let's see what's on Lumberjack Ledge here. Um, got a little piece of candy on Lumberjack Ledge. Okay, well, we don't care about that so much, do we? We don't. We really don't. <clears throat> we really don't. Oh, you, you, have you figured it out? Have you figured out what we're doing here? <laughs> have you figured out what we're doing? How, how strange this seed is gonna be? Oh, wow, we got a couple spike rollers in here. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. What we got on the mushroom spot? Ten arrows. We don't fucking care about that. We really don't. Oh boy, what do we got in here? A burrito! What's this doing here? We found the map of Ganon's Tower. What's this doing here? Uh-oh. I mean, that's actually kind of useless. The, the map to Ganon's Tower sucks ass. Like, let's... We don't need that. That's 100% worthless. And this spike fucking roller, are you serious? This. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Third time's the charm. Whoop! Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a compass from Misery Mire, and we've got the burrito from Ganon's Tower. How strange. We have never seen those things outside of their respective locations before, have we? Hmm. Huh. What a very strange couple of things to find. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we haven't even gotten the th a thing that's a big giveaway of what we're doing, so... Hopefully we'll find one of those soon. Let's see what we got here. Got a big old 20, all right. Oh, hey, we found a small key to Ganon's tower. Well, shit, son. And the flippers is pretty good, actually. And a big key to Dark Palace. Mmm, that's very curious. Very curious indeed. And a big old 20. All right, you know what? That's enough, uh, 
that's enough teasing. We're playing a key sanity seed. Um, so yeah, all of the dungeon items, the compasses, the burritos, the big keys, the small keys, are now in the mix. They are scattered amongst everything else. So, uh, this is why I say we're probably not going to finish this tonight, because this is the first one of these I've ever played. It's a big key of T-Rock. Okay, that's cool, I guess. So this has a, a real big chance of being just a fucking trash fire. Piece of candy. Like, a real big chance. We got another burrito. Dark palace. Okay. Silvers. Fucking sick. And a sword. Hey, alright. Fuck yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Catch up on my marking of things off here. There we go. So yeah, this is going to be a little silly. Um, we'll find some shit, we'll find all the keys and whatever. This complicates the routing terribly. It really does. Um, because shit can be in Ganon's tower that we need to complete other things. Oh, fire rod's pretty nice. So not only do we have to deal with bullshit pedestal seed garbo, but we can deal with, you know, double dipping Ganon's tower. <laughs> Which is just the worst. Um, so we'll see how far we get with this tonight. I don't know, I'll just kind of- ooh, power blow, damn. They are just giving me everything here. Uh, we'll just go until I feel like not doing this anymore. <laughs> Let's be honest, that's how it's gonna happen. Um, <clears throat> But it can take hours, like hours more than a normal seed. So my my average is about like 205, 210 maybe on a normal rando. This will probably go for, you know, like a good three and a half, four hours. Uh, depending on how shitty things happen to be. We're just going to go for the race game item. It's a pretty good chance it's going to be a key that we want. So we're just going to go for it. So yeah, and I, I don't remember how many small keys there are for each dungeon, so that complicates things. Uh, big keys are definitely a thing that we need for most dungeons. Oi, that's just a piece of candy, go fucking figure. Wasted all that time. <clears throat> so yeah, this can be a real shit show. And considering I haven't done one of these before, well... It's going to be even more of a shit show. <laughs> oh, boy. But it should be fun. Like, this is kind of a little, little test run of this. Eventually, maybe... Ooh, a Lionel on Overworld again. Fuck you. Eventually, maybe I'll, I'll do these with greater regularity. Just to be... Just to kind of advance my... My doing of these randomizers, you know? Ten arrows. Thanks, I guess. Cause you know, when I started doing randos, I, I, I did, like, normal standard, where you do the, the escape sequence first, always. Then I advanced to open, and then I turned on the enemy randomizer, so I figured this will be the next logical step for things. Just a single-ass roof under the water. What a fucking waste. What a fucking waste. Ouch. Ooh, wow. Let's do two at a crack? This hole? So I think before I do these... Like, seriously, I probably will need to advance my tracker a little bit. This is a small key to Dark Palace. I think that's the second one we got. Quack. And a heart container, which is nice. And another compass. T-Rock. So in this mode, in Key Sanity, the, the maps on the compasses actually have a function to them. So if I look at my map right now, <clears throat> you'll see that there's no crystals or pendants or anything like that. Hey! What's up with that? Um, in order for those to fill in, you need the map to those areas. So if I get the map to Eastern Palace, it'll show me whether it's a crystal or a pendant. And which one it is. 
Um, the compasses act as uh, trackers for numbers of keys that you have for that area. So if I get the compass to Eastern Palace and I go into Eastern Palace, it'll tell me, like, how many keys do I have? And how many keys am I missing? And how many items are in that dungeon? And since all the keys and maps and compasses and whatever are randomized now, too, that increases vastly the number of uh, item spots that are in each dungeon. Oh, actually, this is really good. Let's see what the stun drop is. Maybe. Oh, well, maybe. Nope, never mind. <laughs> so now, instead of Eastern having just three items in it, it's got... Uh, at least six, I want to say? Which makes it even more valuable as a thing. As a place to go early on. Oh shit, I've got the, the flippers. I should have done the whole other thing. Oh well. So, that being said, I don't know how many items are in each dungeon anymore. <laughs> so chances are pretty big that I'm gonna miss some items. Unless I'm just full clearing dungeons as we go, which might be a, a smart idea. We'll see how far we go with this tonight. Chances are I'm not going to finish this seed, either tonight or ever. <laughs> but if it goes okay, you know, maybe look forward to more of these in the future. Who knows? The future is such a goddamn clusterfuck. Who knows what's going to happen? You know? Oh, that's right. We might not have enough keys to get through here either. Oh, early ice rod too, huh? Oh wait, no, for escape sequence we'll have the keys, because you get them on the way. I'm thinking of for, um, uh, for Hyrule Castle. There's actually two item spots now in Aga Tower that could enter the mix here. Because <clears throat> normally those would be keys and shit. But now they can be actual items, so hooray. So far, it's got a bunch of bombs. This is a pretty good sprite. Like, I try to mix up the sprites every now and again. And I had just seen uh, Phoenix Wright in the list there when I was generating the seed. So I was like, hey, why not give it a go? It's a pretty fun little thing, isn't it? the big key of this dungeon. Well, I sure as fuck hope so. Compass to Skull Woods. Alright, well that was kind of a bust. But at least we got all three in there. <clears throat> so we are definitely lacking money. It's unfortunate. So no Zora play for us. Ow! What the fuck? Hey, what are you doing under that bush, you piece of garbage? <laughs> small key to Ice Palace, 20 roots, small key to Ganon's Tower. Hmm, well that's not very helpful at the moment. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try something else that I've, I've been wanting to try, too. To get us some money. I'm not exactly sure how to do this, but we're gonna give it a go anyways. This would be real weird if I can, like, nail this first try or something. <clears throat> All right, so go into that cave. Come on out. Oh, I've got the flippers. I can't do it. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, dang. Fucking shit. Never mind. Well, I can't do it that way. Um. 
There's another way I think I can do it. Let's try that way. <clears throat> hmm. Of course the game would give me early flippers, so I can't do it the way I think I know how to. Fucking typical. Think this works like this? I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure. Hey, it worked! Fantastic! Alright, so here's a free 225 rupees for us. Fantastic. A little bit of spending money. <laughs> Alright, let's go do, um. <clears throat> hobo and shit. Should we do hobo? Nah. Second guess myself. Oh, I should have just stayed there. Oh well, we can go check bottle vendor. That's a thing that's gonna happen. We couldn't do it the first time through because we didn't have enough money. I'm actually really curious to see what the sprite is what the sprite looks like when you get blue and red mail. Oh, did I already check bottle vendor? Oh shit. I thought I had skipped it because I didn't have the cash. What the hell did he give us? <laughs> well damn it. Man, memory is the first thing to go, I'll tell you what. I guess we should go into Eastern then. We don't know if it's a crystal or a pendant or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Like, there's enough. Oh, excuse me, sir. There's enough items and shit there that's probably worth our time. Plus, we can get Sashasha Shirtshirtla. Three items there. Oop, excuse me, sir. I mean, we're not going to be able to complete it anyways. I don't think we have the big key to Eastern, so... We are SOL on that front. Some bottles, some bands, and a big key to Desert Palace. Alright. Can't get in there yet, but hey, that's nice. Now we can check Sick Kid. me from Eastern. Fuck you. So, now instead of the bog standard three items, I think there's at least six in Eastern. I think all the small keys you get from under pots, and then the compass... And the compass, the the map, and the big key are all from chests. Ooh, excuse me. So there are six, and we don't have the lamp, so the dark rooms are going to be a bit of a pain. Should be able to get at least, I want to say, four of the six items, probably, without going into dark rooms. So here's one. Whoa! Sick! Titan's mitts! Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Really doesn't help us much right now, since we don't have Dark World, or we don't have, um, oh, Moon Pearl? But there's our Dark World access. Eastern, definitely the good early play. There's two. 
two. Huh? The big key. Oh, the big key for Eastern was in Eastern, huh? Oh, that's lame. But there's two. Boots is in Ganon's tower. Are you fucking serious? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> oh, damn it. So the boots are in G Tower. Oh, that's super shitty. That's real super shady. There's number three. There's the moon curl. Holy hell. Okay. Uh, hmm. So I guess the rest will be behind dark rooms, huh? Oh boy, it's going to be a fun what? little jaunt. At least we've got a sword so we can navigate. That's fun and cool. Eh. Oh, am I? Something trying to attack. Problem now is trying to find the small key when it's pot shuffled is fucking hard as balls. Oh, small magic. Ouch. Uh, dang it, yeah. Alright, so maybe I won't try for that. Cause fucking dark rooms with enemy rando is hard. <laughs> is very, very difficult. Hmm. So yeah, I guess there would be three items left, right? The the vanilla big key chest, the big chest. Oh no, I already got the big chest. Just two of them left then. Okay, I think. Oh, and then it does tell me how many keys I have for everything else in the menu. That's pretty fucking handy, actually. We've got a lot of big keys already. Holy shit. Hmm. Quite a few of them. Uh... Let's go back in there. Oh, alright, so I got one... Oh no, that's for Dark World, never mind. So we've got one small key for Pod and one small key for Ice Palace. Boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, darkness as a means of uh, as a means of game design is kind of eh, right? As a as a as a means of increasing difficulty, as you said. But by this point in the game, you should have lamp in the vanilla game, right? So let's see. What can we do then? I guess we can we can go back to we can go back to sick kid. That's something we can do. Oops, that's not where I wanted to go. Or is it? It is not. So yeah, we've got a lot of a lot of options here. At least according to the map. I'm gonna kinda hold off on going up to Zora until we have the money for it. By extension, hold off on doing Hobo, Waterfall of Wishing, and Zora Ledge. And since we've got Dark World access already, which is kind of bad at four hearts and Plastic Sword and all that. Let's see what we can do without doing that dumb bullshit. We can do Hype Cave. We can do the area around Thieves Town. Even do... S well, well, there's the lamp. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Thanks, sick kid. Alright, dark rooms are no more. Um. Hmm. Okay. So we're just gonna take this nice and easy. And take it nice and slow, since I don't anticipate finishing this tonight. We might get halfway through at best. I mean, I'd be happy with getting, like, two, maybe three crystals, and then we'll call it. <laughs> and then we'll call it, and we'll be like, yeah, that was a nice experiment. And until I get a better tracker, I don't think this is a... this is gonna be a regular thing. Because the only way I can do randos to begin with is having a 
having a tracker to help me remember shit. Because my brain is not up for the challenge. <laughs> At all. Oh yeah, you dangerous. Uh. Hey, a heart container. That's super useful, actually. <laughs> okay, well, how about we go back and we possibly finish Eastern? We've got three items out of it so far. There should be just the two now, I think. The vanilla big key chest and um, the boss. Although there should be a third, I think. Right? Hmm. Well, at any rate, we can also get some more money here. So there's a, a side rupee room that you normally don't go to by virtue of it taking a long time to get to, but since we'll be on our way through anyways, we may as well do it. It'll give us about a hundred... hundred rupees, maybe? And we need all the cash we can get at this point. We need some Zora money. Oh, jeez, bastard. Sorry. I'm trying to think of where that last chest is that I might have missed already. So I got the one on the way in here, right? I think. Yep, got the one on the way in. Got the one on the right side, which is normally the compass chest, I think. I got the big chest. I got this one on the way through. Oh, that's four of them. Okay, so I, I, I got four of them already. Never mind. And then the other two will be the big key chest and then the boss. Okay. All right, so my memory's not completely shot. <laughs> this night. I think that told me the boots are in G Tower, so great. right there. Fantastic. Never quite remember the pot layout in that room. So Keysanity really kind of encourages you to full clear more dungeons. Since there's a much greater chance of there being useful shit in here. As I say that, picking up a useless item. Thanks. Fucking thanks, I guess. Eastern being one of the first dungeons, I think it supplies you with all the small keys that you need. You just need the big key to <clears throat> finish the back third of it. Oh my god, look at this room. Serious? Wait, I've got the fire rod. Also, let's get us some light to deal with this, please. Oh, cannot torch the mimics, huh? Oh, all right, there's the dude with the small key. <laughs> I just need to get it. Excuse me, thank you. And while we're here, I'm gonna grab some extra cash. Oops, okay, so maybe not... How much is this? Let's see, 9 times 5. Alright, so this is 90 rupees. That's a pretty fair amount of rupees. Just like that. We're almost a 5 hundo. Hmm, although, with the enemy rando on and full boss shuffle in effect, 
This could be real touch and go as far as being able to beat this boss. Could be a real bad time, depending on what it is. With five hearts and a plastic sword. <laughs> oh god. And the approach being just littered with Garbo. Oh, dang it, I wanted that full magic, just in case something dumb was on the other side. Actually, I kind of wonder now if that was the stun drop. Well, here's open. It's blind! Hey, that's actually doable. If we're not dumb. I do have a backup blue potion, just in case things get super dicey. Whoa, excuse me, sir. Crap, I should probably drink this now. Or I get toasted! God damn it! Of course I get bopped into him. What a fucker. Ah, that's lame. Well, alright, let's go try that again. Since we know we can do it. Path has been cleared for us, mostly. I should have known I was gonna get bopped right into him, though. That's, that, like, should have been at the forefront of my mind. Knowing how this shit works. See, the thing is here, I have the potion, <laughs> and I intended to use it, but it just did not use before I got bopped. It's unfortunate for me. Stop me forgetting where that goddamn switch is. dropped a full magic. Could have really used that. Alright. Round two. Fight! Oh. have this eye. There we go. Easy peasy. All for ten bombs. Oh boy. And the green pendant. The fucking natural green pendant. So you would have known about that if we had the if we had the map for Eastern Palace, but we didn't, so. Oh well. I guess that gets us another item, so. Could have been worse. Pretty, 
close to Zora money, too. Now, even closer to Zora money. Um, do I have anything that can do a stun drop? Ice, maybe? Can't use ice on these guys, right? Shit. Three is one of these shitheads, I think. I think it counts as the stun drop. Uh, stun drop fairies, really? That'd actually be kind of good. Uh, okay, so where are we off to next? Like, I'd really like to get Zora money so we can just go take care of that Garbo. Um... freeze these guys, as long as we don't hit them in their face shield things. Damn it. Alright. Never mind. Alright, so fairies are the stun drop. Uh, where would one go to get money besides murdering these fuckers? You know, thoroughly... Unimpressive fashion. <laughs> hmm. I guess we can hope to get a money pickup on the way to uh, Zora. That would be something. Seven short. So we got a compass on the island. It's not that we really care about that, but it might be helpful. And it actually kind of is. It tracks items for you. Hobo, I guess. And there are plenty of item locations we can go check. If we can get into Dark World, we can do Village of Outcasts, Thieves Town, even Skull Woods. Though, I don't have a big key to Skull Woods, though, so maybe we'll just stay away from that for now. Time that you want these guys to drop rupees, they don't. Lame. Yeah. Small key to T Rock. Hey, there's some money. And you know what? While we're here, let's get a free potion of hopefully good quality. Eh? Oh, I don't want to. Ah, I don't want to be you. <laughs> Give me something else. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a golden bee, at the very least. But give me something, give me something of value. I don't want to fucking. All right, I guess we're gonna get another one. <laughs> fine, whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, now we got Zora money. That's good enough. A small key on the ledge. Thanks for nothing. Well, I guess that gave us another heart container, so whatever. Every little bit helps. I 
every little bit is actually pretty good right now. What we got here? G tower, small key. Ugh. Those are less useful. Uh, no. I don't want to go there. Go to sanctuary. I suppose we should go up the mountain, too. <clears throat> I mean, she gave us fucking two golden bees in a row. That's not very valuable. I mean, I suppose we could sell it for a hundred bucks, so... I mean, that's something. But still. But still! I stand by my disappointed groan. Be better off taking a fish to the dude, honestly. <laughs> Just trying to save an old man. Get out of here. Fucking... Are you serious? Wow, they are just blocking this area super hard. Whatever, at least it puts me back here. friendlier pattern. Hey, vanilla mirror. Thanks, bro. Opens up Hera. <clears throat> Although I don't think I have any keys for Hera, or the big key. But we can go into it right away, since we're here. So yeah, you can see how this can be a little bit slower. <laughs> or at least it's gonna be a little bit slower for me since I have to think about so many other things. Baby's first shield up top. We got inside. Compass. You know what? I'm gonna grab that. Plus we can grab the hint behind it too. of Hera. Okay. Palace of Darkness Big Key is in Blind's Hideout. Oh, that's very handy to know. That's a that's a real solid hint. Pod Big Key is in Thieves Town, huh? Or no, we already have the Big Key for Pod. Never mind, fuck you, hint! We already got that. <laughs> that's right, because Blind's Hideout is the Light World equivalent location. As if it was Thieves Town, it would have said Thieves Town. What a waste. But at least we got the compass to Hera, so, you know. Let's so we'll grab the shield on the way through. Any, any little bit of protection that we can get at six hearts is probably a good thing to grab. And now, since we have the compass to Hera, I think this gives us a little counter in the top, right? Yeah. Zero of six. Wow. So there's six items in Hera as well. Fantastic. Three hundos. Not a bad pickup. A little bit of safety. A little bit of money. So there we go. There's one of six retreats. Magic powder and a Skullwood's key requires a big red bomb. Hmm. Okay. There's a small.
small key to Thieves Town. Well, without the big key or a small key here, we are done. So there's two of six. Two of six in Hera. And we can't go anywhere else up top of Death Mountain here. Let's see, where's the best place to go now? Probably the Dark World, huh? Or Agana. You can go check Agana. Usually where they want you to go super early. Check Desert Ledge 2 right away while we're here. If it's another key or something, we'll leave it on the map. But if it's 300 rupees, we probably don't need that anymore, so we're good. Oh man, he wants to take my shit. <laughs> he really wants it. Just too fast, though. Key to Meyer, okay. So I think Dark World is probably our only choice now. Kind of make the rounds of everything we can reach. It's a whole bunch of items. And then, I think maybe after we clear that out, we'll probably call it a night. Just want to see how far we can get with this. And then, once it starts requiring me to think too much, then that's the time to quit. <laughs> We're already a seed and change into this. It's getting late. My brain no worky so well. Sorry, so we have the compass to Skull Woods. There's eight items in here, really. Oh shit. There's one of them. It's candy. Samaria. Oh. Okay. That's useful. That is some utility right there. Ow. Fucking. Fucking. Let me, let me through, you bitch. Ah. <laughs> Asshole. Body blocks me right into a hole. Ugh. Whatever. This puts me back here. It's probably for the best this way, honestly. Look at this shit. Fucking <laughs> stupid enemy randomizer. Put that thing on. So I think this is pretty much the only item that doesn't get randomized away. Because you can technically drop into this room. So it'll always be a, a small key. To here. So we can get out. Um, do we have the big key here? We don't. A piece of candy there. I think we can get to one more... Oh, man. Excuse me. How is that fair that you can hit me in the doorway? Fuck you. Um, oh, wait. There's two two more items we can get to here. Um, the one right in this other entrance and then the one in the back half. So we'll go check those. And that leaves two others. Which 
will be the boss in the big chest. But we can't get the big chest, obviously, without the big key, and we can't get the the boss without finding a small key. It's somewhere else. Oh wait, that might that actually might not be true. Um, we might be able to do this the entire way through. Uh -huh. Big key of Tower of Hera. All right, cool. That's nice. That's actually pretty nice to have. We can go finish Hera now. I think. So I think we can just grab a key from here and use that in the back half. And then there's an enemy that drops a key. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Um, we will still be locked out of the big chest until we find the big key. But... <clears throat> if this boss is beatable, that'll only leave one item here. Huh? Right by there. A fire bar hit me from the top shelf there? That's weird. Map of Hyrule Castle. Well, that's kind of fucking worthless. Like, the two maps that are just utterly trash is the Hyrule Castle map and the G-Tower map. Both of which I now have! Woo! Alright, I ain't dealing with this. <laughs> Fuck that guy. This guy's got. Drop in and check what the boss is. It's a beatable one. Like a Helmosaur or a, a Wormulon. I guess technically that would be beatable if I had enough magic. But it looks like I'm not doing this for a while. Okay. If at all tonight. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. That leaves two items in Skullwoods. <laughs> go check Bumper Cave and then go do Cave North of the Graveyard. So like the overworld routing is still mostly the same, depending on what you find, of course. But like those locations don't change at all. Bumper Cave is out. Can't check King's Tomb yet because we don't have boots. off. See you later, shithead. Ugh. Five rupees, of course. And yet it still always seems like you get trash when you are looking for good items. Regardless of how many are in the fucking pool. <laughs> Alright, so that's probably a good time to go... Uh, hey! No! I need those bombs. Fuck you. 
out of here. Yes. Oi! Stop it! <laughs> you can have those single dollars, I guess. I need the bombs. Oops. Alright. Pay him. <laughs> and another big key. Big key to swamp. Interesting. Okay. Um, do we have... We don't have the big key to thieves, but we do have the small key. So we can at least... Oh, well, I guess it really doesn't matter if we don't have the big key. But we can at least check the front half of it. <clears throat> We don't have the compass, so we don't have that meter, so it's probably okay. We'll check the front four, and that's about as much as we're gonna get unless we find the big key in here. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Never mind! Okay, cool. Um, we are missing one small key, though, so we either... ...miss the big chest item, which we can't get since we don't have the hammer anyways, so that's probably fine. A blessing in disguise. Oh, cool. What am I transformed? <laughs> Blue Badger, that's hilarious. <laughs> Fantastic. <clears throat> Rupees, kind of sucks, but whatever. And the single arrow. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. How many more items can I get here? I think I can get into the back half, so that's... One, maybe two, I want to say? We can get two more? Oh, careful. Oh no, maybe we're good for small keys. Ah, oh, damn it. Wow. Because then we pick up the small key up under the pot here. And really the only small key you would get out of a chest would be the one for... Uh, the one... Originally intended for the big chest, so that's good. So we should be able to get maybe three of the four other items here. How? It's cost two. Jeez. Damn it. All right, can you stop body blocking me into shit here, please? Thank you. Jumping piece of garbo. Ugh. It's lame. Get out of my way, squirrel. <laughs> Fuck you. Oi.
I suppose maybe I shouldn't have uh, put the enemy rando on my first key sanity seat. <laughs> Test runner nods. Probably is uh, bad enough with just normal enemies. Um, sir, excuse me. Get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. And now the enemy rando has given it to me. Pretty hard. Okay, cool. We might just uh, finish this here. <laughs> if I can't even get through the rest of Thieves Town. So equipped, I don't think I'm going to waste any more time trying to do this over and over and over and we're already an hour in with zero crystals to our name. Fucking zero crystals to our name. Get out of my fucking way! You piece of goddamn garbage. <laughs> ah. Wow. Phoenix is just taking it. Taking his bops here. I guess I should not be in here with just six hearts. That might be a problem. All right, just stay up there. Thank you. Ugh. Fine, that guy can go for that dollar. Easily distracted. Button. Ow! What was that, four hearts? Excuse me! That is so fucking lame. Oh, of course, these are the dudes that drop the bombs. Alright, guess what? Get you some out of here. Assholes. At least let me get this one. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Fucking get out of here. We got $20. All that work for $20. Fucking fantastic. Alright, let's see. Where can we go then? Got this. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Guess so we can go get the blacksmith we can go do digging game hype cave I, I feel like we should maybe at least do hype cave before we say fuck this seat oopsie why not well, that never happens <laughs> the 20th the 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 20 hardest earned dollars in our lives that's right Digging for clues here. Oh, good, a red meringue. Fantastic. Ugh. find the blue male or something, because I want to see how he changes appearance. But if the RNG is not going to be kind enough to to grant us that, then I'm not going to bother. Making keys to so locksmiths. Small key to Skull Woods. Well, I don't really care about Skull Woods anymore. I really don't. 
that was what was that? Uh, what was that up there? That was um, uh, a cold stair, right? We technically could do, but we are very ill-equipped to do that. something. <laughs> I feel like we haven't gotten a good item in a long time. The last thing we got was the Cane of Samaria. Walking around Dark World with six hearts, only two of which we actually have, is very dangerous and nerve-wracking, and I don't like it. Hey, there we go! Alright, let's see. So we got Classic Phoenix in blue suit and yellow tie, right? Oh, that's kind of neat. Now we got Teal Phoenix. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's a good that's a good sprite too. I like that. Did he ever wear a teal suit? I don't think he did, right? Well, that's fun. That's cool and fun. I like that. <laughs> and also, that's real good because that doubles our defense. <laughs> seat is just the worst. <laughs> Fucking ugh. Oops. Um. Oh, got a burrito. Map of Desert Palace. Okay. Well, what is Desert Palace? It's a crystal. It's a five sixer. That we can't get to. Alright, I don't know, I kinda like him in the teal suit. It's a good look for him. He's he's making it work, you know? And I like that he changes his tie between uh, Dark and Light World, too. That's very that's very cool and very considerate of him. Bucks, thanks. And another. And another. Oh, a cape. A fancy cape. Some arrows. A piece of candy. Good for another heart. Oi, hype cave. Not being real hype today. Not being real hype. There's not many other overworld locations we can go for either. But, we can get whatever this small key- was it a small key? No, it was a compass, right? On the islands? I forget what it was. It was something that didn't make me mark it off. So I presume it's at least a little bit valuable. Yeah. What do we got? Compass of Thieves Town. Well, alright. Not as valuable as one might hope. Any other areas we can go. We can maybe take a small dip into ice. We don't have the big key to it, but we have a small key. Whatever that makes sense. Alright, let's dip into ice and then we'll call it a night. We'll be like, hey, this was a, a fun experiment, but I really need to be firing on full cylinders to actually complete one of these. Otherwise, it's not gonna end well. Unique items in Kakarika Tavern. Thanks, Hint. Was real fucking useful. Let's 
let's see how. Oh boy. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> and now a lot of magic. It's worth it though. Misery Meyer. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, look at this room. This is a busy fucking room. Lots going on. I can appreciate the fact that this sort of rando exists. Cash is held by the Kakariko Village Elder. Thanks, we already knew that. Um, and I can appreciate the fact that maybe I'm not experienced enough to do something like this. <laughs> uh, is it this dude that's got the key now? Like, which one of you fucks has a key? Oh, oops. Um, that's not what I wanted. Like, there's still another layer of rando we could put on top of this, too, which is just absolutely wild. Like, this isn't even the be-all, end-all to it. Oh, whoops. Uh -huh. Nope. God damn it. Ah, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this now. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Ah! Yeah, fuck me. Alright, I think we'll call it there. <laughs> we made a pretty solid go at it. I'll say that much. Nice. One, one, two, three, four. We made a solid go at it. We got lots of big keys, and we kind of made our way around like we would otherwise, so... Hmm. Okay. With that, we will say... That's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough about that. Okay, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CST. I'll be doing Boss Rush, all androids for Assault Android Cactus. Gotta get practiced up for that for reasons. Um, and then after that, Monday night, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back on La Mulana 2. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.